Now it happened afterwards that David asked of Yahweh, saying, Shall I go up to one of the cities of Judah? And Yahweh said to him, Go up. So David said, Where shall I go up? And he said, To Hebron. So David went up there, and his two wives also, Ahinoam the Jezreelitess and Abigail the wife of Nabal the Carmelite. And David brought up his men who were with him, each with his household, and they lived in the cities of Hebron. Then the men of Judah came, and there anointed David king over the house of Judah. And they told David, saying, It was the men of Jabesh Gilead who buried Saul. And David sent messengers to the men of Jabesh Gilead, and said to them, May you be blessed of Yahweh, because you have shown this loving kindness with your Lord, with Saul, and have buried him. So now, may Yahweh show loving kindness and truth to you, and I also will show this goodness to you, because you have done this thing. So now, let your hands be strong and be valiant, for Saul your Lord is dead, and also the house of Judah has anointed me king over them. Now Abner the son of Ner, commander of Saul's army, had taken Ishbosheth the son of Saul and brought him over to Mahanaim. And he made him king over Gilead, over the Asherites, over Jezreel, over Ephraim, and over Benjamin, even over all Israel. Ishbosheth, Saul's son, was forty years old when he became king over Israel, and he was king for two years. The house of Judah, however, followed David. And the time that David was king in Hebron over the house of Judah was seven years and six months. Now Abner the son of Ner went out from Mahanaim to Gibeon with the servants of Ishbosheth the son of Saul. And Joab the son of Zeruiah and the servants of David went out and met them by the pool of Gibeon, and they sat down, one on the one side of the pool and the other on the other side of the pool. Then Abner said to Joab, Now let the young men arise and hold a contest before us. And Joab said, Let them arise. So they arose and went over by count, twelve for Benjamin and Ishbosheth the son of Saul, and twelve of the servants of David. And each one of them seized his opponent by the head and thrust his sword in his opponent's side, so they fell down together. Therefore that place was called Helketh Hazarim, which is in Gibeon. And that day the battle was very severe, and Abner and the men of Israel were defeated before the servants of David. Now the three sons of Zeruiah were there, Joab and Abishai and Asahel, and Asahel was as swift-footed as one of the gazelles which is in the field. And Asahel pursued Abner and did not turn to the right or to the left from following Abner. Then Abner turned to look behind him and said, Is that you, Asahel? And he answered, It is I. So Abner said to him, Turn to your right or to your left, and seize one of the young men for yourself, and take for yourself his spoil. But Asahel was not willing to turn aside from following him. And Abner repeated again to Asahel, Turn aside from following me. Why should I strike you to the ground? How then could I lift up my face to your brother Joab? However, he refused to turn aside, therefore Abner struck him in the belly with the butt end of the spear, so that the spear came out at his back. And he fell there and died on the spot. And it happened that all who came to the place where Asahel had fallen and died stood still. But Joab and Abishai pursued Abner. Now the sun was going down, and they came to the hill of Amma, which is in front of Gaia by the way of the wilderness of Gibeon. And the sons of Benjamin gathered together behind Abner and became one band, and they stood on the top of a certain hill. Then Abner called to Joab and said, Shall the sword devour forever? Do you not know that it will be bitter in the end? How long will you refrain from telling the people to turn back from following their brothers? And Joab said, As God lives, if you had not spoken, surely then the people would have only gone away in the morning, each from following his brother. So Joab blew the trumpet, and all the people stood still and pursued Israel no longer, nor did they continue to fight any more. But Abner and his men then went through the Arabah all that night, so they crossed the Jordan, walked all morning, and came to Mahanaim. Now Joab returned from following Abner. And he had gathered all the people together, and nineteen of David's servants besides Asahel were missing. But the servants of David had struck down many of Benjamin and Abner's men, so that three hundred and sixty men died. And they took up Asahel and buried him in his father's tomb which was in Bethlehem. Then Joab and his men went all night until the day dawned at Hebron. 